Welcome to Corridor H. This is a highway that has been constructed in the past decade through the Valley and Ridge province of Eastern West Virginia. It was mainly funded with federal money and um, Robert Byrd, the late former Senator from West Virginia was instrumental in bringing that federal money, those, that pork spending into West Virginia to make this amazing highway that blasted through ridge after ridge revealing a lot of interesting details about the structure and the stratigraphy of the Appalachian Basin. And um, the highway, as you can see behind me, is not especially well trafficked. There's a little bit of traffic going through here, but uh, it's not a ton. Um, eventually, this will be the western extension of Interstate 66, but that hasn't happened yet. And as a result, we can come out here and have it pretty much all to ourselves. It's a great place to look at geology. Our first stop on this virtual field experience is the Hanging Rock Anticline, and that's what you see here behind me. Now, the Hanging Rock Anticline has a natural exposure just over this ridge in the valley of the Lost River. However, this uh, road cut pre preserves more of the detail of the two formations that are exposed here. The bulk of the outcrop is the Tuscarora Formation, a Silurian-aged, quartzite, uh, quartz aronite, and quartz pebble conglomerate. It's uh, been lightly metamorphosed. There's been a little bit of uh, pressure solution, and it does uh, break across grain boundaries rather than along grain boundaries. And then right about where I'm standing is the contact with the overlying Rose Hill formation, and that is um, muddier. So there's less sand, it's finer grain sediment, and um, uh, it's higher up in this section after the, uh, the heavy clastic influence of the first phase of Appalachian mountain building lets up a bit. So let's talk about that briefly here. We've got a lot of quartz sand and quartz pebbles and mud making up this outcrop. All that sediment has to come from someplace. All right, so this uh, series of formations here is part of the Taconian clastic wedge. So in the uh, late Ordovician period of geologic time, a volcanic island arc in ancestral North America smashed into one another. And that raised up a series of mountains in the Piedmont province. So where we have Washington DC and Richmond and places like that today, that was um, material that was added on to North America and metamorphosed and shoved upward into mountains at that time. But those mountains were eroded and the sediment that they generated, big pieces and medium pieces and small pieces, went downhill. At that time, this was not mountainous. This was below sea level and it was receiving those sediments that were coming off of that ancient mountain belt. And um, those sediments start off really dirty uh, down below in the uh, late Ordovician Martinsburg Formation, a deep water set of turbidite deposits. And then higher up in this section, you get the Juniata Formation, which is terrestrial. So it's red beds, basically like a prograding delta system that went out over that deep water basin. And then by the time you get up to um, the Silurian part of the package, to the Tuscarora Formation, you basically have a really clean quartz uh, sandstone. So any of the less stable minerals like feldspar or mica, they're all rotted away. And uh, this is a really mature deposit, so we might think that um, there might have been an influence of climate here, where we have a warm, wet climate facilitating the breakdown of other minerals, or maybe what we have going on here is multiple sort of cycles of recycling this material and getting this really pure quartz sandstone as a result. Later, of course, everything was folded up, and this folding came much, much later than the deposition. So these rocks were derived from mountains that were built during the Ordovician. They were laid down as sediment during the Silurian, and then they were folded into this giant anticline during the late Paleozoic. So this was during the Alleghenian orogeny, which was the biggest and baddest of the uh, Appalachian orogenies. It represents the closure of the ancient Iapetus Ocean and the construction of Pangaea. So at that time, these sedimentary layers that were blanketed on the North American craton folded and faulted and crumpled up into the Northwest.